So today I'll be going over uh, something pretty important. So I'll be going over Simulink. So Simulink is a toolbox inside MATLAB. It should be defaultly installed into your uh, MATLAB. To access Simulink, there are uh, multiple ways. Uh, I'm going to show you two ways to how to open up uh, open up Simulink. So for that, for one way, you could just go to your Home tab, and then go to your Simulink option here, and then click, and then it should open up Simulink start page. Again, be mindful that I'm using 2020A Simulink version, uh, MATLAB version. So that's why it looks like this. If you have uh, lower versions, then the matter. Uh, there should be an option known as blank model. You can just create blank model. That's one way of opening Simulink. Another way of opening Simulink is just go to your command window and try write Simulink, enter, and then it opens up the same page. Uh, now, now that we uh, have opened up, uh, got this Simulink startup page, click blank model. So this will create. This will create an untitled uh, Simulink project, which is completely blank. So whenever you whenever you're using Simulink, um, so the reason why we use Simulink is because basically Simulink is a symbolic programming. It's known as symbolically, you can add all the blocks and then remove it. And there are three types of blocks in Simulink. One is sources where you get your signals. One is sinks where you put your signals away and all the, all the remaining blocks, which is processing blocks. We can always think, think Simulink in this three different ways. Okay, to access all these blocks, uh, there is a thing called as open library. So the library has all the blocks, right? So it has. Uh, if you just uh, go to library, don't worry if you if you don't have all this. Doesn't matter. Uh, as soon as you draw, drop this drop down menu of Simulink, you'll have all these options. Maybe sources, uh, sinks, and all the signal routing and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So today uh, in this class, I'm going to go over uh, uh, like sources. I'm going to go over uh, like just a little bit of sources, like step, uh, sinks, like scope, uh, like you know visualization of what actually happens, and uh, signal routing. In signal routing, I'm going to go over a transfer function. Uh, I'll I'll be going over two two different types of transfer function. Okay, let's just do that. First, I'll go to sources, right? So these are all the sources. So this is all the signals you can generate uh, at the end of this thing. Imagine you have an oscilloscope or any some kind of a voltage generator. Imagine it's just like that, but it's all done in, a, in your Simulink, right? For our example, let's, I'm gonna use step. So if I want to get this in my model, I have two ways. I can just click drag and put it here, or I can also do a uh, right click and then do select add to the model to the untitled. If, you, if I do it here, I have the, my, the model from my Simulink library in my uh, Simulink file. Okay, so that is my sources, right? So sources create signal. So I want to see how the signal looks like. That is done using sinks. Sinks, like sinks only have inputs. Sources only have outputs. Sources create signal, sinks absorb signal. I think everybody that would you know, studied heat and mass transfer would know that. Uh, there are different kinds of uh, sinks which absorb. Just it's in the, this one is numerical display, uh, very important. But for this class, I'm going to use scope. So what is a scope? Is basically like an oscilloscope. It whatever signal is coming through. It's going to dis display using a graph. Again, I'm going to put this into my model by drag and drop or by doing right click and control I. If I minimize this. And then, okay, in Simulink, you can drag your uh, model by clicking left click and then hold. You can drag however you want. And then you can, you can connect two blocks, two blocks See the input can be connected to this output by just left click, drag, and then just bring it up and then automatically connects. Now these two are connected. A signal from the step is straight away going to the scope. I can also obviously rename this uh, 
rename this this thing by by clicking and it the, the, in blue the name is going to show up i'm going to just uh, st uh, like blue part i'm going to say my step and of course the signals can also be renamed if i just click so blue means it's selected double click i'm going to say my step signal okay so this is my scope so i'm going to again click here i'm going to say my scope now i'm going to double click here so this is how you set up uh, okay wait double click Whoa. see this is how the scopes looks like so now we have set up the uh, model now they have set up a, a example simulink file now let's see how do we run this simulink file so what is a, a running a simulink uh, file is like powering powering on a system so what happens is that we, if we power on the system whatever we connected signal flows through always starts from sources and goes through sink and uh, this is how you control your what happens in the system uh, for this course you can always keep this in normal condition and then stop time can be 10 or you can change whatever you want so this is basically how much time you are simulating your system and this one is done this is this is what, this is all you need to know in this top section except this library you you need to know this and save and all this all the stuff and then you need to know uh, this stuff don't worry about all this tabs like debug modeling and all that it's not necessary for this course so if you double click here and then you can also access the run file here so it this both run files as uh, run as same you don't have to like you can click either one and then it's going to work so for example i'm going to click here so it ran if i open up here i can see the step here so this is how the input signal looks like if i want to uh, if i want to see which signal i want to create legend right so i can go to signal and left click oh no oh yeah so you can go to view and put do legend so it's going to say my step signal so it is saying that it is plotting this my step my step signal so this is this is this is your sources and this is your sync now you understood two parts of simulink that is your how to create signal how to absorb signal and how to see what is actually signal now let's go into what uh, how to like you know add a transfer function to this signal so for that I, i'm going to remove the signal here so again to remove the signal you just going to go here left click drag oh so it becomes signals becomes detached now now if i go click and run here it has nothing see it has nothing it says no nothing no no channel it's a null signal so for that let me go back to the library again and then this time i'm going to search i'm not going to go through each and every block and select this thing uh, i'm going to use the search function so i'm going to search for transfer because i need a transfer function block so it says it's transfer func so uh, like same i'm going to do paste it here and then again so since this is a signal routing type of a simulink block it has two inputs now uh, so two uh, two ends one is an input end one is an output end so the input end i'm going to connect to the uh, source here by just dragging and placing it here okay and the output i'm going to connect by dra dragging and connecting to the output now i can i have this transfer function i want to see how it behaves i double click and then see it it shows how the transfer function behaves uh what is it okay and then uh one of the one of the amazing functionality of the simulink is i can change this transfer function by just clicking 
and changing the numerator and denominator. So any questions till now? Where did you find that transfer function block parameter thing? I'm like also like trying to follow along so I can like figure this out, out but like, like popping back and forth is kind of difficult. Okay, so what did you ask me again? That middle thing with the func the one over s plus one. Where did you find? That? Okay, so go to a library browser and uh, search transfer. As soon as you search transfer, something like this transfer function should come up, and then right click, and select the first option. Did you get it? Okay, so I think, uh, I don't know who asked the question. I think we got it. So again, uh, like I was ex explaining, so this is an amazing functionality of uh, Simulink where you can change the transfer function as you want, just like in MATLAB. For example, this is how the, like your first example in this thing, uh, based, I'm not gonna give away the solution here. This is how the first solution is gonna look like based on your R and L values. Uh, for your second second solution, they'll, it's a second order system. So there'll be something like this, I'm gonna say apply. Uh, no, that, like, don't worry if something comes up like this, uh, that means it's just not expanded. If you just expand it and then make it straight, it's gonna look like this. So your second solution, like second homework question looks something like this. So you just need to get the numerator and denominator coefficient, add it here. This is your transfer function block. And then you can say, okay. So this is how you get it. So if you want to run the signal and see how this looks like, uh, and you can double click. So this is how the transfer, this is how the system looks like. If you give a 10 seconds thing, don't worry, this is just highlighting the markers. Uh, your, 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 um, this thing would be uh, like a smooth curve. I don't know why it's just doing this for me. Okay, so uh, by chance, if we want to see both input, uh, I just have one minute, so I'm gonna use that. So by chance, if you want to see both input and output here, output of the transfer function, also input of the transfer function, you can do, uh, click, the, click the signal here, and then right click, drag, so that will create a branch just like an electrical signal. And then do drag, drag till you connect. So when you try to connect, the uh, scope should automatically have two inputs. So that is uh, the greatness of the Simulink. It recognizes that you are connect you're trying to connect two signals and then it automatically gives two inputs. So how I did that is basically, let me do that again and show you. Oh. So I'm going to click on the signal, I right click, drag. Uh, I didn't, I didn't leave the right click yet. And then connect to the output. If I double click here, and then run this. Now all of a sudden, there are two signals coming out. One is my step signal. And one is our transfer function. I hope this makes sense because there will be, and uh, uh, while submitting your homework, it's fine to have screenshot and then putting it in like a Word document or something and then up su submitting because you cannot uh, submit the model. You might not be able to open the model. To save the Simulink file, you just go here, save. Whoa. We can save it like this, I'm gonna say, So it's gonna be automatically saved at .slx file. So say like this, class file, it's, it's automatically saved like that. 
I think I'm one minute over the time. So I think uh, any, any questions? I know it's a uh, pretty tricky and something different from what we were doing from the last week, but uh, you just need to practice. After that, after practicing, you'll become an expert.